Hello to you. Tonight, we're making a cheesy pasta. Which, which uh, was, this is a recipe provided by Grady Olson's mom, the nicest of ladies. Here's a simulated picture of what she, we think she looks like. Isn't that nice? The first step is to get a cola cocktail. Here I have 50% Diet Coke that is flat mixed with Pepsi Max. It's the best of both worlds. <sighs> Tastes like artificial sweetness. Since this recipe was provided by a mom, we opted for a choo-choo wheel. It's not copyrighted. This is um, the American version of the Italian cut of pasta known as a wagon a wheel. You can open the box and inside you'll see they're cute. Shut up, baby. Let's make a pasta. That seems like plenty of water. So it gives pasta flavor. Okay, that water's gonna take a while to boil. So while we're waiting, we're gonna prepare the sauce. And before we make the sauce, we're gonna grate all these cheeses. This is a four cheese pasta! Asiago, Fontina, Parmesan, and the Gorgon. Gorgon's Cola, Gorgon's Cola, I like that. These cheeses are all weird, and you can probably find them grated somewhere, but I'm gonna, gonna do it myself, because uh, there's like a small subsection of our viewer base that enjoys watching me do tedious things. And also, I'll get to wear that very comfortable cheese hat the entire time. Oh, oh yeah, we gotta, we gotta make a Trump joke. Uh. So, we are not using shredded cheese. We're gonna make America great again, starting with me. This joke has not been made before, and I also want to clarify that I don't support Trump and I didn't buy this hat. It just happens to be here. So this is uh, Parmesan, and we need to we need to grate it. So like honestly, at this point, if you don't know how to grate cheese, you've missed some like critical part of the curriculum of life. You might be held back. You might have to repeat the life grade. I might just grate it all. Make make Phil great again. Okay. So that's the Parmesan. Next up on our Tour du uh, fromage, we've got Assy Go. Assy Go is similar to Parmesan, except it's like a little bit stinkier and uh, it tastes nice on a bagel. You can get that from Panera. God, it just stinks. I don't know what it is. I think Asiago just smells terrible. It tastes great. You want to smell it? All right, here we go. Cheese Grater Simulator IRL 2016. Fine job. Okay, our last summer art cheese is Fontina. I don't know how you grate this, but I'm gonna try it. Sometimes you just gotta cut a cheese open like you're doing a surgery, which is really just what I do in my spare time. I just, you know, cut things open like surgery. Do a little bit of surgery now and then. I'm like one of those uh, casual surgeons. I only do surgery on the weekends on non-people things like cheese, you know, like you do, perfectly normal. Fontina is a lot uh, softer than the other ones. I don't know if we're gonna be able to shred this very well. Hey, eh, we're, we're making some progress. It's not pretty, but sometimes in life you don't have pretty things. Sometimes things are ugly. You take it good with your, with your whatever. <laughs> and you know, we're like, we're gonna be putting these in a sauce to to melt anyways. So these will take longer to melt, but Fontina has the cheese melts pretty easily. I'm not overly concerned. That's clearly not a third cup each of these cheeses, but on the flip side of that logic, you can never have enough cheese, so why don't we just throw it all in there? Last one's Gorgonzola. This is the wild card of the cheese. You can see it's got the flavor mold. I'm not gonna put too much in. A third of a cup seems like a lot. I don't want that much stink. This cheese is gross. It's whack. I don't like it. I take it back. I do like it. It's just a little, little weird. Good news for the pasta. We got our boiling water here. We we'll get our choo-choo wheels. Try to get an even distribution there. And you should recycle. Because you'll save money on garbage bags. Oh, all right, here we go. Okay, let's make a roux. We are gonna start. We're gonna, we're gonna follow, um, 
Miss Olsen's recipe, Ms. Mrs. whatever you are. We're gonna start with two tablespoons of butter, which is gonna have a little bit of gorgonzola cheese on it, but that's okay. We're gonna melt that butter. To this, we will add two tablespoons of flour. And honestly, you should wait till the butter's melted, but I really just don't care. It's a little bit easier to incorporate that way, but if you add it before, you'll toast the flour a little bit, which is nice. And you'll need a whisk. Make sure you're moving things around here. I really should have waited till that was melted. Oh well, Mrs. Olson's notes says, you know, toast this till you don't smell the flour, so the flour doesn't smell like flour. If you're wondering what flour smells like, it smells like bread. This looks pretty shit. I'm doing a terrible job. It'd be no surprise though. It's pretty easy to burn. If you burn, start over. You're donezo. But to this, we're gonna start adding milk. I'm just gonna add like the tiniest splash to start. Whole milk. Just a little bit at the beginning. Oh, uh, your pasta is boiling. Turn it out a little bit. Okay. I'm yeah, a lot more milk. I usually start by covering the bottom of the pan and we're going to try to incorporate this together. Once you, you get rid of most of the clumps, we're going to start adding cheese. But as you heat this up, it'll start to thicken and you'll be able to feel the resistance on your whisk. You don't want to boil. You want to, you want it to be slow, slow heat. So you'll see steam come off, but as soon as you see a bunch of bubbles, you need to chill out. Check it out. It's super thick. You need to add more milk. Okay, that was about a cup of milk, which is what the recipe called for. We'll incorporate that and let it thicken back up. Okay, so it's, it's been like maybe five minutes. I think the roux is just at the perfect point for melting cheese. There's, you can see it's still pretty thin, but it has some substance to it, and there's some resistance when I whisk it. So, according to the recipe, we add the cheeses one at a time. Here's the Parmesan. I recommend that you like stir with one and add cheese with the other. You should add it gradually, but I don't, I don't have time for that. Here we are at cheese number one. It looks thick as heck. We're altering the recipe. Sorry, Mrs. Olsen. We're gonna add half and half as we go. The recipe calls for this all at once, but I'm just kinda, gonna kinda adjust as we go. Thin that out a bit. Some cream. Man, that looks really yummy. All right, cheese number two, the assy go. Stir it to melt. You can see it's too thick. We'll add some more cream and incorporate. So far, so good. You can see. Probably should check these choo choo wheels. These might be done. Oh, those are done. Gotta strain your pot. Let's pour it down the drain. I'm just kidding. Okay, looking good. We might not add any more cream. We'll see. Let's just throw the rest of those cheeses in there. There's that Gorgonzola Fontina. Fine, fine Tina. You got a finer. It's got overdue library books. We weren't able to grate some of that cheese, so it's gonna take longer to melt. So you can stir to your heart's content. All right, according to the recipe, optional ingredients include garlic and stewed tomatoes. Here's a can of stewed tomatoes. There is no way that these will get added unless we drain them. So just, there you go. Wow, those are not really chopped. Well, guess I'll give them a chop. Shows you how often I use these kind of things. Okay, the recipe said half a can, but I just made like a crap load of sauce, so you know, whatever. Just add the whole can, uh, whatever you have the purpose for them. Some salt, and some pepper. You incorporate. Oh boy, that looks yummy. Oh boy, that's like dangerously cheesy. Here's some garlic powder over the top, a bunch more salt, and incorporate. Holy crap, that's good. That's like super yummy. Nice job, Mrs. Olsen. Last thing the recipe calls for is some basil. It's fresh basil. Let's get some basil. Fresh basil here. I'll show you how to chiffron. All it is is like you take your leaves, roll them up like you, you would roll any green thing really. And then thin slices. The tighter that you roll it, the fancier your chiffron will be. But So that gives you these, these threads of basil. So we're gonna save that as a garnish. Okay, last things, put on the pasta. The recipe says to serve over your favorite pasta. We're just gonna give it the old dumpy poo. And if you're worried about those tomatoes needing to cook longer, they were stewed for ages already in the can, so. Oh boy, that's nice. Okay, look at that. I think that Grady said this is like his mom made this for his birthday or something. That's nice. And we're gonna add our garnish here. There's our basil garnish. Put a little green shit on it. Makes everything taste better. Try it with the, the basil. Mmm, what you wanna taste that? What you want me to feed you? Um, that's delicious. I I can't wait to eat more of that. Don't don't skip the tomatoes, those are great. All those cheese have like a really complex flavor. Nice job, Mrs. Olson. Very nice lady. Happy birthday, Grady, whatever your birthday is, I guess. Okay. We will take the
this and make it better. Get a my pen, rinse it off, spray the pen. Fill up your pen with pasta. <laughs> I'm doing the best I can. Add additional cheese. Italian five cheese. Taking us up to nine cheeses. Nine cheeses. Just kidding, it's like the same cheeses plus mozzarella. It just needs more cheese. It just needs more cheese. Oh, baby. Put it in the oven. Put it in the oven. The oven. Bake it in. Cook it to the browns. Take it to brown town. Cleave the brown. Hobby brown. Cleave the brown. I love the little brown pigs. One shingles. Turn the heat up to maximum heat. Just do it. Don't forget to turn off the heat. That's how you upgrade. Look at that extra cheese layer. This is gonna burn the shit out of me. You see how hot that is? Look at that cheese structural integrity. Even better. That's how you do it twice, once good, and second, even better. Let's make cheese great again. Thanks everybody, bye. <laughs>